This is my second video of the 1/120th scale leader class destroyer build Scratch from the Russian Navy prototype. Initially, the paint would never completely cover the boat, so water always managed to seep inside and because there was wood filler used to flatten the surfaces, the wood filler would take water in, expand and crack. In the end, I did the right thing and covered the whole hull with some fiberglass and epoxy. One thing I have to learn from this is to use a lesser grained cloth because the weight of the cloth shows through the epoxy and I did not add enough epoxy to completely fill out the gaps. Also the rudders were fixed by removing the original 3D printed tiller and changing that to telescopic tubing and changing the original small 9 gram servo with a very strong one. The first sea trial was unsuccessful because of large waves and because of the fact that the hull was not fiberglassed, water seeped on top of the boat, got inside and hit the wood filler that immediately ruined the boat. Based on the first experience, the second time around was at Pensacola Beach and my wife and I lugged the boat for a long period of time before we found a nice spot where the waves were a little calmer and we were able to navigate the boat successfully for the first time. However, because my weights were inside Ziploc bags and the Ziploc bags were not completely at the bottom of the boat, the ballast was too high on the center of buoyancy. Therefore, the superstructure would not stay on with the wave conditions here. I was very happy with this trial for two reasons. One being that the rudders were working excellently now and also that the weight distribution was confirmed, which meant that I was able to cement my cement in place instead of leaving it inside Ziploc bags to move it around. An important issue happened however because the motor and the shaft are not perfectly aligned which means that there were sympathetic vibrations being created by the motion of the shaft when it spun meaning that it eventually would loose the screws inside holding the shaft together. Because of that I was very limited in the speed that the boat could go. Nevertheless because the weight distribution was well confirmed it was possible to pour part of the cement that was in Ziploc bags down into the keel of the hull, keeping the cement weight much lower down. With that good ballast now, the superstructure was able to stay on because the boat was far more stable than before, and that allowed, for the first time, the boat to sail as a whole unit. Before the third sail, it was possible to replace the universal joints with two universal joints and solidify the shaft from three to four millimeters. This largely removed the vibration problem. For this test, I chose to use only the poured concrete ballast and not include the Ziploc bags. With the extra speed of the hull, however, you can see that the rudders give a lot of kick and that meant that the boat was relatively unstable compared to before, which is something that could be resolved by adding more exponential to the rudders, meaning that the rudder would be less sensitive around the middle and far more sensitive around the extremes, keeping its level of travel, but making sure that you can adjust it more finely when you're moving at high speed. Playing with the boat to newfound speed was a lot of fun, seeing that now the vibration problems were solved. Nevertheless, there's a little consequence to that, and that's that the boat would move very quickly and the superstructure would not like to follow, which meant that it did happen to tip over. Uh -oh. Happily, the superstructure floats, so that's not an issue, but that's something to consider later on. I might want to run with all the ballast that I can. I should probably add what's called bilge keel, which will help to make the boat track. To see this boat now working and reliable is very fun to me, especially that I know all of the places where it has problems and little defects here and there, but on a whole, seeing that it has to be carried with a car, any additional details would likely fall off. This level of completion is actually pretty nice.